Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. Today I have with me once again, Raymond! At the turn of the tide, I have returned to you. <laughs> and today we are continuing with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe! The DC comic run! He-Man! Now tell people I mean, what's so different about this version of He-Man. What, you you're asking me about that? Yeah, give people a summary. Um, <clears throat> well, I think like like with any He-Man, uh, the difference being ma mainly with uh, Prince Adam. Mm -hmm. He's, um, as, uh, unlike with any of the stories where you actually get to see Adam act like a coward and all that stuff, he wasn't really cowardly. Even in the origin issue, he wasn't very cowardly. In fact, his he, father tried to make him become a coward. Yeah, his father tried to make him become a coward, but even at Skeletor's own admittance, he's a freaking natural. Yeah. Oh, let's also talk about the difference with Skeletor here. Uh, Skeletor is about what you'd expect how he would act, just a little bit more unchained. Basically, I look at it as a Skeletor if there wasn't standards and practices of any kind. Yes, and he's a bit of a, more of a, a tragic figure in this storyline. Although not too tragic, because I felt pity for him for all of five seconds before he ripped it away from me. Yeah, because basically, he was a bastard child. He, he's kind of like Loki. He's very much like Loki, I just realized. He is very, he's very Loki-like. Almost beat for beat now that I'm thinking about it. Except Loki still has some redeeming values. In the MCU, yeah. Well, yeah, in the MCU. In the comics, you know, he's just a fucking bastard. Right. And, well, Teela was a blonde, but she's going to be back to being blonde and, and being redhead. And Battlecat, there's no cringer at all. Yay. Well, I'm afraid that he is still Cringer, but it's basically just Battle Cat without the powers. Oh, okay. So, yeah, now this, he's, like he's, he's, a, he's a tough badass, is what he is. Yep. And we're going to be sticking with Pop Man for the vast majority of this stuff. Now, tell people how awesome and amazing Pop Man's artwork is. Oh, uh, gorgeous. Mm hmm. But yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, look at, looking at Man at Arms right there, I mean, I. Yeah. I'm not gay or anything, but holy <laughs> shit. Uh, and uh, Adam don't look half bad himself either. I know. Tila, uh, anyway, anyway, um, always a firebird, always getting involved in some manner of arcane madness or other. By the way, I told them, my God, they already know that Tila is the daughter of the sorceress, too. <clears throat> That's already just known. That's knowledge. Okay, so a lot of knowledge is just already spread around by this point, Yes. Then. Yep, really? She always struck me as stoic, slightly, slightly above it all. No offense intended, none taken. Public face, private face. You didn't know her that well. Not well enough to see past the serene facade. Tila takes after her. The apple did not fall far from the tree, let me tell you. And yet, you kept it from her. The fact that the sorceress was her mother, as did you, that was not my, that was not my tale to tell, nor mine. If the sorceress was to be believed, you're her father. Because I could be. So basically, this is the closest we ever get to saying that he could, she, he could be her father, but even he doesn't know for certain. Okay, so they're just blue balling it. But he, but this is conf confirmation that he has slept with the sorceress. Yes. But oh yeah, that's the other thing. Sorceress dead. Oh yeah, she's been decapitated. She's very much dead and uh, probably not coming. No, back. and she is never. She might make one or two appearances <clears throat> to try and help guide Tila, but otherwise, she's dead just gonna... for good. Okay, yeah, she's just going to be Tila's Obi-Wan then. Yep, and the sorceress couldn't. She had no desire to be Tila, uh, Tila's mother. The desire was there. Her responsibilities, there was no way she could be a fit mother, and she knew it. That's better than what the Revelations had, if you ask me. What did Revelations do? I forgot. I haven't seen it in a Revelations while. Revelations had it be simply, that was just part of what the tradition was, to cut themselves out. Whereas in this case, it was like she knew she wasn't a fit. That just seems like they they kind of wrote themselves into a freaking. Uh, and this is better, but it's not still good. Mm -hmm. Because it's still that the the job is getting in the way of being her mother. Oh, I love this. Better a loving mother who died at birth than a mother who I get it. 
kind of. Odd lot, mages. I should have known better. And if you had known better, I never stopped loving her. You hit it well, <laughs> like I had a choice. Father, daughter, and father, daughter, Adam, what did you do to your hair? You do not want to go there. Oh, it certainly suits your temperament. Second warning. Tila, you can't just show up here with a, red of, a head of red hair and expect us to pretend we don't notice. Then again, don't give me that look. I haven't said a word yet. That reminds me of the royal rooster. There's a royal rooster. There is now. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> so she's... Okay, so she... Why couldn't she just be naturally a redhead like she's supposed to be instead of having to dye her hair blonde? blonde. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate when this happens. I hate when it does that where it just gets out of whack. Yeah, DC Universe needs to update its shit. But anyway, the, the king. That, that are, basically, they're basically having a memorial for the um, for her, as they're mentioning it all. Tilana. I never really knew her name. Names have powers, or so the mages claim. Give me gas, and, get, and give me gas, a lot of them. Mages, every last one. Even, didn't like her when she was alive. Her being dead changes nothing. Wait a second. Did he say Tila? You named me after her? Shh, shh, not here, not now. I think it's an ancient dialect. It means she of the flaming locks or something like, <laughs> It's all right. He's just overcome with grief. You know how sensitive he is. Right, Adam? There, there. How much longer do we have to... King Randor does love a good speech. That log. <laughs> okay, let's be honest, though. Adam did kind of ask for that. Yeah, he's being his his normal smarmy thing. Well, at least when going with um um um, if you go more off of um 2003 Adam, not 80s Adam. But anyway, Mima out in the fields. The horde is, is finally shown up. What is that thing? That's Despera. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we'll get to the surprise later. Yep. If they and uh, huh, if they are all this fragile, this realm is as good as ours. Status as projected: blanket insertion, SOP. Certain twenty thirds um, through seventy second and battalions have punched through and are moving to their the secure their location. There, there will be resistance. When, there, when, when, when is it there? Deviation Corps has foreseen this consequence. This Eternia has been much diminished. Death is kin to victory as much as to defeat. See to the boy. He suffers needlessly. Primary target? Eternos. Seven land measures due east. We are the, and we are the closest insertion point as ordered. Primary forces, up the middle. Let them see us coming. Secondary forces, stand flank until my signal. With any luck, all they, and they'll have to do is pick up deserter. Pick up deserters. As ordered. We're in. No resistance reported yet. But the day is young. Once they've discovered they've been invaded, it will be, it will be too late to mount more than, than token resistance. Ah, uh, how I am you, Despera. It's been eon and... Beyond since Hordak last sat out a, a conquest, a testament to your faith in me, a gift from loving father to deserving daughter. Do not make me regret my generosity. My life is yours. That goes without saying. You are within striking distance of the seat of power. Eternos, we will begin the attack within the hour. Do not let your confidence make your you careless. The technological level here is barely magic, Despera. What use have they for advanced technology when they can work magic? Their most powerful mage is no longer among them. No, the skeletal one has been removed from play. Much to our advantage, but there's another of concern. A warrior. All warriors are concerned. Such is war. This realm shall fall. I will present it to you as a gift from a loving daughter to... You will present your conquest because failure is not an option. Do you think yourself above my wrath? As ordered. <laughs> See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Grace calls grace but and grace, but and but that wasn't inter interminable. Tila, please, a little respect for the dead. How do we know she's dead? Big pardon? For all we know, she could have jettisoned her essence before Skeletor killed her. Possess the dungeon red or 
poor bird. Precisely. I was being facetious. Really? How And how are those ribs coming along? I didn't say it was a red bird. Uh, on the plus... No, that just strips down! Wow. Uh, on the plus side, one less mage. That's good and got to be a good thing. Tila! That was interesting. My apologies, Decker. When she starts running her mouth, reminds me of you a bit, Duncan. Now that was uncalled for. <laughs> Tila! Tila, are you? Burp! She's fine! <laughs> what, and what hit us? Right, now you gl and, gl gl and your glee is as good as ours. Our blessed creator. And creator. Adam, what? No quarter. They surrender or they die! Damn! Save some for me. Is she serious? As a heart attack. Duncan, most of the masters are still here. All are, 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 are still here. All of them are. Get them organized. Lay your defense. First we hold, then we push back. Decker, you go with him. And you, don't worry about me. Defend the city. And if it, and, and Teros is under attack, what if the rest of Eternia? Don't think about it. Focus on the now. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! There, the energy signature the Eminence warned us of. Where? This And this is, the reading is off the chart. Where? Knew you'd be up here. How did you? You need to do that hall, and you need room to do that hall. I have the power thing. A lot of energy comes into play there. So, who are we killing? Take your choice. Grayskull's Bane, who are they? They are your masters. Who? Who cares? Let servants should know their place. Right. She is not a servant. My father was right to be concerned. You should take your lead from him. Does your father have a name? Do you? Talking to her? Kill her? What am I saying? Big and lung and won't hit a woman unless she bleeds him first. Perhaps you should take your lead from her. If it comes to that, it has come to that. Kill her. Pretend she's a guy. Ah, we think alike, you and I. A pity my and we met at sword's length. Given other circumstances, we could be friends. No, not possible. Can't be. Adora? So, yeah, how's that for the first issue? Dun, dun, dun! It's He-Man's sister! Yep, now I'll be fake fair. She doesn't become she for a long time. Oh no, she's got a freaking butch haircut. Woke. Oh, uh, well, uh, this is 2013. And technically, wokeness didn't start until 2016. Oh, please, you know that you bitch about it anyway. I know. Adora. Who's Adora? Until now, I just thought she was a figment of my imagination. She look imaginary to you? Tila. You knew, know her? Knew her. Only as a dream. Enough. I did not come here to talk. See, imaginary friend, what did I tell you? Apparently not. There I ask. Slaves ask only how they can better serve. Creator's grace. Will, and will you gutter and be done with it? You should You should heed your woman's advice. Woman? Mine? Tila? Two against one? And two against one? Is that the way it's done in this realm? She's right. Go sit in the corner. Tila, no. She's too powerful for you two. I'm pretending she's you. <laughs> mm. But did you think I forgot in all those red hair comments? Enough! You've got spirit, girl. I'll grant you that. A pity your prowess falls far short of that spirit. Tila! Oh, that was smart. At least try to land on there, guys. For all the good it will do. Damn! See what I meant when I said it last time? Mm -hmm. Kordak is winning already! Really, there's no way to really come back, you know, to be the pushback from this, is there? Especially after the condition they were in. There, I mean, that was the per after I mean happened, she's not She-Ra, but she's beaten back Tila She's the force captain! She's the force captain! How about the... I was about to say, man, how powerful is she going to get after she gets the fucking sort of protection or whatever? Pretty damn powerful. Okay, deep breath. Stop reacting on a gut level and get it together. Heads up. I should have blown her from her perch on the way down. Is she always so shrill? 
You care enough to risk your life for her, yet deny she's your woman? That makes you either a very noble or very fo foolish. A pity you won't live long enough for me to find out which. I think we've heard enough from, uh, enough from you. Yeah! For one, th I agree with her. Enough from you! What was that all about? What? You weren't done dancing with her yet? I was waiting for an opening. In that case, you're welcome! Then King Randor has ordered a withdrawal. He what? They're killing civilians to force surrender. Grayskull, uh, muster at Castle Grayskull. Oh, sorry, Grayskull. Hey, whoa, what do you think you're... Burp! <laughs> he must have chosen the short straw. Ha! We see how they're treating Tila like no one wants to deal with her anger. Well, to be fair, she's got a lot of anger issues. <laughs> probably, this is probably the most temperamental Tila, wouldn't you say? No, the fucking that 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 crown goes to fucking uh, revelations. Okay, okay. Before revelations, this would you agree? This was this was until revelations. <laughs> of course, like as long as we fight, innocents die. Is that it? Oh, for the glory of the eminence, eminence, there can be no greater honor, madness, suicide, or perhaps hope that I will be choose to be merciful. Neither. He doesn't even have the look! Yep. Oh, and look! Slashed her! Quickly, old friend! To Grayskull! And woe to any who stand in our way! Mistress, lay one hands on me, and you die where you stand! Fetch a restoration mage and be quick about it! For this affront, I will grind his bones to dust and force feed him to his beast! There will be a reckoning, but sir. Damn! Just look at that bat, what Battlecat did! Hmm. So, yeah, basically now they're at Grayskull hiding out there. Um, and they're basically now trying to rearrange and figure out things, but they're also trying to find out who this Adora was. If I can, can I have everyone's attention? Smooth dodge. Bite me. You were all uh, at Eternal. You were all there. You know what happened. The extent of it. However, the Farseers and company me cast a territorial weft that they saw was unbearable. Eternia has fallen. Please, this is difficult enough. Listen and learn. The time for talk will come soon enough. Attend. I gotta say, I love this King Randor. This is probably the best King Randor. Mm -hmm. Simultaneous attacks were launched on every city and town in Eternia. The smaller villages have thus far been spared. That will not last. The technology used to mount the attacks is alien to us. Instantaneous teleportation is the closest we can come to describing it. A science-based variant on our own uh, shift conjures. The loss of life is staggering. Entire armies have been decimated. Entire civil civilian populations exterminated. They use civilian deaths to force surrender. Eternals was surrendered, and, and su was, yeah, surrendered for just that reason. As was every major population in our maternia, many of our brethren let themselves be taken, rather than endanger those they've sworn to protect. The foe is and that merciless. The foe is that relentless. Does this foe have a name? If, if only we can curse it as we send his minions to whatever hell they have him. Hordak. The foe is Hordak. Hordak? The myth! Preposterous! They were led by a woman, not a vampiric creature of legend. Not myth, nor legend. Nor fairy tale. Hordak is. See, seen him with your own eyes, have you? I was but a child, near abducted by one of, and by one of his minions. He was what? So even Randor was nearly abducted once. Wow. Actually, no. We already know that, though. Remember, though, when um, Keldor and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, they're trying to figure out... Look at that scar! Just look at that scar on her now. Oh, man. On oh, her pretty face. But, yeah, now they're basically deciding to plan and go there for Grayskull. Adam, so, do they think me mad, deluded, unfit to sit upon the throne? Nothing so drastic. They believe, then? I wouldn't go that far. They know you never deceive them. Not deliberately. Deliberately being the operative word. This look familiar? The murals from Eternos and Palace gave me more nightmares than I can care to remember. And now he's back on Eternia. This Hordak. No, we can be grateful for that and, and grateful for that. 
at least Grayskull's enchantment binds him to his nether realm. His minions, however. So in other words, Grayskull, the reason why is because he's stuck there still. He Basically, what we find out later on, he needs the blood of Grayskull to be free. Mm -hmm. And a more pure blood than Skeletor's blood and what Randor's blood. He needs someone who's more matching for them. In other words, he needs He-Man's blood. But he won't be getting that for a long while. Uh, it's almost too much to take in. A pandimensional vampire? Armies that are more machine than man? How about a giant green cat that you can ride around on? Or a man made of moss who can control plants or... Point taken! <laughs> <laughs> we have no choice but to deal with the realities of that which is presented. We, uh, we have been presented with a new addition to our reality. Or should I say, an old one reborn. So basically they're trying to figure things out when despair has been brought as an emissary. S speak your piece. Simply put, surrender and they all live. We are, the, we are the superior force. We will prevail. They, am I to assume the offer doesn't extend to me? Well, and well caught you. You and I will fight to the death. Will we? Slaves obey their masters. I will command it of you. I am to be your slave? To what do I owe such an honor? I had all healed, but for what a one. Only your blood will wash it away. Your wretched beast will be brought forth and butchered. Your surrender will be written in his blood. Okay, you can never tell how far, just how far gone she is, right? Well, she was raised like that, dude. I know. I wouldn't well, say she's far Tila. gone, but she's... Look at Tila. Oh, scary. <laughs> Actually, the scar brings out the color in her eyes. I was just thinking that. Lovely. Just lovely. I don't think they're interested. Well, ju and just as well. Eric and slaves dine sooner than later. You have 12 hours to make peace with uh, whatever wretched gods will have you. Imagine a friend, hey? I think it's time I heard that tale. Not much to tell. Let me be the judge of that. That, I uh, Marlena. Tila's tale. So, basically, we're going to find out a lot of what she recalled about Adora. They were not babies, I should point out, when they were taken. Ah, but look at, look at cute little Tila. Aw. <laughs> and there's Adora. Until one point, she just vanished, disappeared. Or at least that's what it seemed to be. Basically... Um, what we find out is, is that for some reason, um, Adora kept on popping up back in, um, Eternia, usually during her dreams. Hmm. That's why she saw Tila was a dream and Tila thought she was an imaginary girl. Basically her dreams brought her back home and projected her there. Oh. So this is how Tila was still able to be, have ever the friend his friendship, even though T, um, Adora was still being raised over there. Then one day she just stopped coming with the passing of years. It wasn't a far jump to imaginary friend. You didn't miss her. I didn't say that. I just said I grew up. Okay. And now she's back. Yeah. Now she's back. I don't suppose you remember anything that might give us an edge. What? Like she's afraid of spiders or heights or anything like that? Anything that might help. No, nothing like... Gah! Oh, I forget who that guy is. Um, oh, uh, Paul, Tro Paul Troziad. I don't remember the guy who has a stretchy neck, do you? Yeah, he always had a stretchy neck like that. No, no, which character? Oh, uh... Oh, oh, um, Mecha Suan. Mecha Neck. Mecha Neck. Mecha Neck Suan, is what it says. Okay, yeah. I remember Mecha Neck. Yeah, what was Tia so upset about? I keyed in on her uh, audio from half of the cancels west. She has issues. Yes, it would seem so. <laughs> Is that Tila? Right. How how did she? My guess be she jumped. Jump from that height? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, how'd she get there so fast? What took you? Our common sense. <laughs> Creator, 
Weathers, Grace! Inside, employee Grace called Weathers it. Majesty! Oh dear. Oh, wonderful! Deal with them. The girl is mine! Roboto, see to the king! The king can see to himself! See what I mean? Best Randor, mm. wouldn't you say? Nice trick. Why didn't you just blink your entire army here and be done with it? Where's the fun in that? Different artists here filling in for Pop for the moment, but Tila's eventually taken. Man at arms, see to your charges. He is her father. You think I don't know that? He's also general of the guards and a defender of the realm. I, I guess there is, and there's not much I can add to that. We will get her back, I swear it. By the power of Grayskull, I swear it. Took her. Explain. And took her on the one, the one from her youth, from the indiscretion. Ah, uh, yet another, again, your monumental incompetence takes center stage. Shadow Weaver has offered her life many times over as atonement. The ages have robbed death of much of its luster. How much more exquisite to prolong suffering, to bask in the agony of offer, hope offered, then withdrawn over and over and over again. They always hope. <coughs> Lord, what is the one and what is of the one she knows as a childish fancy to discover this, this Tila as real? Are you telling me your raising of her was inadequate? That you failed to instill in her all of that is of Hordak? That you were less than mother to her? I did as I was charged. She believes herself of the Horde. Caution, Cheryl. Despair is not of the Horde. Diminish her at your risk. I meant no offense. My, my, my mind is addled by concern for the damage this Tila may do. Here's the conditioning undone because of... A kind smile, a hand offered in friendship, an act of compassion. Randor's daughter is beyond all of that. Despairers of Hordak, there can be no greater honor. So, yeah, of course, Adam wants to go out there, but Randor forbids it. So does Randor... Oh, I, 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 does Randor know that that's his son? Yeah, Randor knows Adam is He-Man. He already okay. said he said he called him Adam earlier in his He-Man form. Oh, sorry, I must have missed that. My dad yeah. was texting me. Yeah. Uh, are you that anxious to throw your life away and wave Adam of Eternia? Who show yourself? So okay, so Tila and, and the source is still barely there. They're just Obi Waning it up. Yep, sorceress, but you. Grace Gall is a cruel master. To die within its wall is to be devoured. The better to comfort it and serve the very power Grace Gall was built to protect and contain. It is a curse and blessing of pleasure and pain. It is as it must be if Grace Gall is to survive. The enemy has taken Tila, taken your daughter. Has this forced your hand at end? And what was like a possible destiny should you choose to accept what Grace Call offers? Accept? I it and it will t I will it will take greater than you possess to free Eternia. Oh yeah, basically this is where and He Man gets an upgrade. Uh, okay. Can I just say how much I love the design of the Horde soldiers? I always love that design. Well, look at that new outfit. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about the pants. I kind of miss the, the I'm, I kind of miss the loin cloth. Oh look at this! I loved you like a sister. Oh, I love this. No word, very few words. Mm hmm. They're they're ready to take Grace Call. I could just God. To be the victim of just poor toy planning, <laughs> what kind of asshole design? Like, could you imagine what it must be like for him to be like, my, I only, know. my only superpower is that uh, my neck can grow longer than a fucking Brachiosaurus. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I love his design. Otherwise, he looks really cool. It's just that <laughs> neck and neck. Where is Manny Faces? I know. I. Uh... 
Any word of Tila? They haven't displayed her body, if that's what you're talking about. That's not what I... I know, I know. My apology. It's just that I... I'm... Why do you care? She's always giving you the rough edge of her tongue. You mean there's a smooth edge? Good point. She stood by me when we were kids. My ability. It didn't inspire much confidence, nor respect. I was an easy target for kids. It's funny you mentioned that earlier! I, I didn't even... I, I promise I did not read this beforehand. I know! I was an easy target for kids looking to score points. Tila soon put an end to that. Tila? My Tila? About yo high red hair? She declared me her boyfriend, told them if they didn't lay off from me, they answered to her. We were all six years old. Ever since then, she's been the only one who raises on me. Wait, 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 No, 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 she said, what? she, in other words, she lied to get them to leave him alone. No, 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 I'm talking about what Man at Arms said. Red hair. You're, well, no, he's saying that red hair now, because look, he's using the old, so he's saying the way Tila is currently. Oh, okay. I thought it was like Tila was redhead back then. And like, no, 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 no. So what, she dyed her saying, hair blonde and then it became... No, no, was... no, no, no. Because no. remember, they said that she dyed her hair red. Anyway, anyway. It's a small price to pay. Pay for what? You're a grown man now, Anne, for her friendship. She doesn't mean a word of it, you know? I guess I do now. That's how I know she'll be all right. Because she's your friend? Did you think of a better reason? Because she's my daughter. You win! Mm-hmm. But yeah, so she's led, he's led all the way down to the secret of Castle Grayskull. The Great Forge! You know what you must do. No, no, no what? Zor! Sorceress! Why did you bring me here? Sorceress, you can't leave me like this! Zor! Tila was right. Mages are infuriating. Not exactly the words she used, but close enough. What does she expect me to do? I failed smithing. Am I to pretend there's not a siege so I can... Can... Can what? Duncan should be here. He understands the intricacies of... I am not here to encourage you. I am here to see you prepared for what lies ahead. The power of Grayskull. I have the power. Eh, <laughs> Look at you! Look at and look and look at you all sh and all woe is me and sad and like that's right. I'm long term. I get to talk to fresh meat like yourself. Give and give a taste of what's to come. They're gonna and break you hard, pink meat. Think you're a warrior? You ain't nothing less you're told to be to it. Please, please don't hurt me. Oh, she's putting on an act. Mm-hmm. I, I should have let you stave your skull and, and, and let her stave your skull in to the slave master. Fifty lashes for carelessness. Keeping me as a pet? I prefer my pet's health broken. Really, I'd have the medium rare. <laughs> Damn. Adora, don't call me that. What am I supposed to call you? That's the name you. You will soon come to call me master, not mistress. And there's something I should know. You lack respect. Respect is earned. Respect is demanded. Really? On what grounds? I am the scion. My father is Lord Hordak of the bleak domain and, domain and dominion. Master of Hordak? Hordak? Hordak isn't human. He's some kind of a vampire thing or like that. Lord Hordak has transcended humanity. What humanity? If even half of the tales are true, then Hordak is thousands. Millions of years old. He was never human because, he, and he was around long before humanity existed. And how do you explain me? I am his daughter, and I am human. That's not, and for me to explain, I still believe two plus two equals four. What do you believe? Now, uh, um, I believe you've outlived whatever value you may once have had. Bleed out. Hmm. You're not worth a warrior's death. See to it that she's in, and she uh, and days in her dying. It will be so, so. Damn! But yeah, Adam, while they're fighting and she's still watching, clang, clang! He's upgraded the sword now. And that symbol, that's the actual Grayskull symbol. Like on it, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Uh huh. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power! What do you believe, child? If he truly wished to keep and to see and to see and keep you as his, 
Hordak should never have let you come home. In other words, Hordak was and always considered this. Mm. Now, we do see She-Ra here, but that she doesn't appear in this issue. This is just a lie. But the Sparrow's origins revealed. Again, just look at Pop Man's artwork. Moss Man and... Wait, what's the name of the bird dude? I forget his name. I forget. What's the name of the elephant trunk guy? Oh, God, hold on. You keep going. I'm going on. Wikipedia, here we come. Now, do you see? You know why resistance is futile? Why do you resist? That night guard, 50 gold pieces. I can get you on my knees before me. Ha! Too easy. No, you get the joke, dude. What happens? Look what happened. She's muttering something. So she kneels down. Bet night guard 50 gold pieces. I can get you on knees before me. <laughs> Too easy. Even if she's dying, she's being a smart ass. That's kind of, uh, I expect nothing less of Tila. But yeah, so of course, then she starts to show her her truce. That bit, but boy, the Lord Hardak was struck down by the power of the sword, grievously wounded, and banished to bleak despondo, where his physical form wizard and died. Wizard and died? I right, ask you got off and you got off to, but the new armor answer enough. It's a long story. Does it involve rescuing Tila? Do you even have to ask? Look how powerful that new the upgraded sword is. Damn, he just fucking ripping right through them. And I like the idea that he actually upgrades the sword, don't you? Yeah, he couldn't be... Well, he, he's always upgraded as far as I'm aware of, except for in the original series. Yeah, but I was like, you the forge, you found... great. So and there, The king's no more than he saw it. And then we saw it. What happened? I missed that. Sorry. No, the king is a, was aware of the forge. Something not oh, even Man right. of Arms knew. Oh, Okay. A, a new sword as well. You have been busy. Time and time for talk, and, and time enough for talk later. Or er, now belongs to Tila. Now belongs to Grayskull. When I return, we'll have word about my sister. Sister, you have no. That's what I have believes, regardless of Zor's words. Were it not from what you said when you first set eyes on Despera, Marlena, mother's name. I don't think you're aware of saying it. I was she that similar in appearance? A mirror image. She, this despair is a mirror image of your mother as she looked the day we met. Too many questions, fa Father. It's time some were answered. Yes. Bring her back alive, He-Man. Bring my daughter back to me alive. And mine, Adam. If daughter she be... Mother! Despair! Child! If you take in leave of your senses, your father charged that you return only when attorney is ground beneath. Tell me again of my childhood. Tell me again of a mother's love and a father's pride. Tell me the truth. The truth stands as told. Liar! What madness possesses you to lay up your, upon me? The truth! Too soon, child. Your suspicions come too soon. What, and once you had ground Eternia underfoot, killed your own kin, then what would have mattered if the truths were known? Where could you have gone? Who could you have turned to? Who but Shadow Weaver would have cared? Kin, brother, and father. Not that they know the truth any more than you. As always, it would surprise me or the father not to suspect. You are near enough to your mother to be her twin. And I, and I look nothing like you. You love me as a mother. You still can. You surprise me. I'd have thought you'd cling to the lie. Why? It's what and to what end? When he, when he sent you to Eternia, he took you from me. He knew the truth awaited you. He knew, the, and he just didn't know it would come to you after so short a time. His arrogance has always been his undoing. What would you know, child? Who am I? Had you not been taken, Adora of Eternia. Princess Adora, if such as that means anything to you... Princess, there was no throne waiting for you. The throne was your brother's to claim. Your twin brother. Eternia has little use for queens except as ornaments to dangle from a king's arm. And then basically, yeah, it was Skeletor who took her, who uh, took her and okay. left a spell that they wouldn't remember. More lies, mother. I am well past lying. Then why was I taken and the Adam child left behind? Tila. 
That is her name, is it not? Your married friend come to life? What does Tila have to do with her mother? Her mother saw you separated from your twin. Had she not intervened, both of you would have been taken. So in other words, the sorcerer has helped here, but because Skeletor used Adora as a shield, she let her, she let him go. And that the sorcerer has removed the memories. Hmm. The sorcerer has seated se se you to save your twin. Had the combat continued, one or both of you might have been killed. The prophecy was all. Tell me she lies, Lord. Does the weapon question the wielder? You pe and petition for the truth, and this wretched wench was full enough to grant your petition. Who are you to question the will of Hordak? I cannot answer that question. Who am I? Is my entire life a lie? Yes, Thrall. Your life was lived as I decreed it. You, your, your very soul, was recast in my image. No, tell me, Thrall. Were your, and were your child taken from you, would you not have moved the heavens above and the earth below to get the child back? They don't even know your name except as a sacrifice, willingly made and all too soon forgotten. Not so, not so, you dare. Sorceress knew. She knew the king would never try and stop trying to get the child back. Rushed to war they would, and unprepared would they be. Sorceress made them forget. For Eternia, for cursed Grayskull. Shadow Weaver was mother to you then. She is mother to you still. Go, go to whatever future will have you. Imagine Apparently the elephant you. master of the universe is just named Elephant. Ha! <laughs> I can oh, imagine the, the bird of the Stratos. You. I know, imagine a word for you to play it. As friend, you say, shh, keep her a secret and she will go away. You see? You see how good girls are rewarded? Only good girls can go to the imaginary world. Are you a good girl, Despair? So Shadow Weaver sent her to see Tila deliberately! Oh. Yes. <clears throat> Tila, Shadow Weaver appears and dies. Look and learn. Do not so, disappoint me, dog. So Shadow Weaver was... An adopted not, mother to a dog. Yeah, so she actually loved her. She did. But oh. the bigger twist is... She wasn't the only one who raised Adora. Uh, and no, I don't mean Hordak. Who else raised her? Skeletor. Oh. And Skeletor and Shadow Weaver were actually a thing. Oh, shit. We won't find that out till much later. But, uh, 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 by the way, have you thought this through? Not past Getila. Well, that's comforting. Jeez. <sighs> well, well, just, well, we'll just waltz on into that heavily fortified camp, hunt down Tila, free her, and then sneak back out with no one the wiser. Yep. Did you just say yep? Yep. You. <sighs> this is more effective. What? Your mother gave me to the into heart at, or so he would have me believe. My mother, the sorceress. The who? I am your king's daughter, taken at first by... Whoa, 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 before you get into that, you heal me, right? I did, with help. Good. D and to no good to know you can do that. <laughs> now we're even. So what's all this about my mother and you being whatever? I... Uh, I think this marks the continuation of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> you kind of had it brought it upon yourself. <laughs> but the fact that once she hears like she had healers, it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I take it back. His name is not Elephant. It's, oh, my God, you got to get ready for this one. What? It is, his name is Snout Spout. <laughs> I'm oh, look good. at this cover. Look at this cover. That's pretty cool. By now, by this point, Rob David had got more involved with everything. Rob David is one of the main guys at Mattel. And he would be the shepherding all of this going far you know, going forward. Have fun with that. <laughs> oh god, really? <laughs> 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 
But yeah, they're fi they're finding their way through everything. And look at that, Yeji uses his head in deck, you know, sending neck as a weapon. He's not even using what? Okay. Oh, now he yeah, he is using his head neck as a weapon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, what what's the difference between you and Ram Man now then? True, but I, but I did like how they explained that there was a friendship between him and Tila that she never had it with others, save short for Adam. You know, I think he actually used his neck to to restrict others in the 2003 cartoon. Ah. But yeah, look, they're finding a way through. And that any way to say thank you for healing your wounds? Despair when say thank you for anything. And Adora, too soon to tell. What happens to you now? Now I fight. You know you know what I mean. Hordak doesn't strike me as someone who easily who forgives easily, if at all. Then I fight and die. But this time I fight for what I believe in. And what and that would be you. Whoa, whoa, too much responsibility. You're the only thing in my life that still sits true, that counts for a lot. What happened to her scar? Oh, the healer did it. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I think it, it no, yeah, it was, fool of a girl. Did you think Hordak unprepared for this inevitability? Did you presume Hordak blind to the revelations awaiting you in this wretched world? The only reason you still live is because Hordak is a forgiving god. Forgiving god? Huh? Wish I had a mirror so I could see if I really looked that stupid. That guy looks, he looks so fucking cool. Does, yeah! Look, go, yeah, but go back to that other, I just want to admire that for a second more. And even though you were hating it before this! Well, the this this version of it looks way fucking better because he's well, because he's full form. He's not condensed inside a building. Yeah, yeah. This this one just looks like a you know a tentacle like Lovecraftian monster. He does. But yeah, think and think it through, meat. Whom do I lose more than any since or before? Who strikes my wrath greater than any other? Grayskull. The man is dead. You think so? Or does he survive, if only by bloodline? And what if that bloodline was fought foul, made corrupt in service to his greatest foe? I know you've lied to me. I know of your deception. How does my knowing this suit you? Why does this truth suddenly suit you? Because you handed me Eternia. You conquered your own. Yours was the hand by which Grayskull's legacy was undone. It's not over yet. Cling to that if it were, were a lie told from your from birth. Despera, that is not my name. It is the name the meat of this realm will know you by. The name they will curse as author of their misery. The name of their conqueror. Never again will they be able to evoke the name Grayskull without also invoking you. You have killed Grayskull's legacy. <laughs> Big fucking whoop. You're still going to get your ass handed to you. What if this... Adora, uh, I won't leave her behind for you two. By all means, meat. Take out the trash if you if, and if you are mine to. Hordak has no further use of it. There's the charm we've all known come to know in Lowe's. Too late, meat. Eternia is mine. This charade is ended. Charade? Had to be him. This siege. A little something to keep your best and brightest occupied while my horde tightened the control of this world. Eternius now of Hordak, made so while its so-called masters of the universe dithered with incidentals. Your concern for Castle Grayskull and the power locked within blinded you to the rest of your world. But then when have you ever sought past Grayskull? Oh, shit! Oh, so he was fucking playing them. Yep. That eternity only exists in your mind during crises that might ill affect Grayskull. Tell me, he man, when was the last time you went anywhere in Eternia where there was not a crisis to be overcome? Your monstrous hubris challenges Hordak. Hordak at least acknowledges that fact, exalts in, in, in it. In other words, yeah, he's calling him out saying, When have you ever gone beyond Grayskull and Eter Eternius? True you, enough. You think yourself as being of Grayskull, not of Eternia. I have truth been told. Remove the burden from you. The burden of Eternia. You are so welcome. This is not over. You will never take Grayskull while a single one of us lives. Fool, I've already taken it. A boon, a gift from your lord. Stand down, false warrior. Grayskull is no longer a concern. I grant you your freedom! Motherfucker. The 
pr price of arrogance, the price of believing that Hordak would trust his hordes to the bloodline of Grayskull. The malign influence of the Fright Zone has spread throughout Eternia. While you made your futile stand, the darkness seated by Hordak took root, grew, co grew, corrupted the very land you sought to save, and you sought to save. You have failed. How many die today for a hollow ideal? How many fight to the death amid the ruins of the only god they've ever served? Hollow and hollow words. You know this cannot stand. You may have won a battle, but the war still rages. Ah, flipping his words around. Yep. Eternia is mine. The land, yes, but the people never. The sword banish you won. It will do so again. By my words, it will do so again. That prophecy has already been fulfilled. Hordak has nothing to fear from you. Kill them! Kill them all! We're doomed. For once I agree with you. Run, my friend. We shall meet you at Point Dread. Don't have to don't tell me you have a way out of here. First rule of man at arms. Always be prepared. Damn! The bird jet! That's so cool. So what did you think about Hordax winning? Um, had to happen. Insane. The devastation. We lost so many. The master you see, they're the only ones who made it out alive. I couldn't save them, Adam. I couldn't <clears> save <throat> my people. You led the survivors here, Father. You led them to fight another day. We need to reclaim Grayskull somehow. What of Grayskull then? Are its secrets still safe? Did they survive the castle's destruction? And if so, how well protected are they? Skeletor had possession of Castle Grayskull during the time we wandered without memory. If Skeletor could not discover the castle's secrets, but then Skeletor is not Hordak. We still possess the pow Sword of Power, Reforged, a weapon worthy of our foe. For that, for now, that and our face will, ha will have to do. Grayskull will persevere. It always has. It always will. And the girl, Despera, my daughter returned to me. She's not ready yet. There are issues she has to work out. She blames me. She blames herself. Then she's wrong too. She was misled. We were all misled. I could have I could have her brought before you, but it would have been against her will. No, no. I will have her meet and not meet me. I will not have her meet me on her knees. What will she do? Whatever she wants. For the first time in her life, whatever she wants. At least she was drawn her oath to see me dead. Speaking of which, how is Tila? So yeah, they're still talking it out. <laughs> I that. Like speak, speaking of which, the oath to see him dead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically then, um, uh, yeah, they're just t uh, talking amongst each other, just trying to come to grips with what's happening. Fisto! For, yep. And for a brief moment, T um, Adora smiles. She can't help it. Is that an evil you. smile or like a, a smile of like, oh, I'm free? I don't know. Good to see you survive too. And there's Cringer! What's this now? Not satisfied with nearly ripping off my face? Had a change of heart, have you? Does it have anything to do with your master being my brother? Crater's breath, but that still sits awkward in my head. I know what you're seeking, but no. Your place is with the He-Man. I've yet to find my place. Tell you what. I find my place, you'll be the first to know. How's that? Go on with you now. Back where you belong. I've got some unfinished business to it to see too. Eternia has fallen to Hordak, and soon enough the power of Grayskull will be Hordak to wield. A glorious moment. Then why has there been no call to celebrate such a glorious moment? Why does Hordak brood when he should be exulting? Why do I feel as if in winning I have lost? The Eternian child. Madness! She was but a pawn. What reason is there for Hordak to fear one such as that? For what What reason indeed? So? That was really cool. So is Hordak um, starting to become basically what he was in the, the She-Ra cartoon, where he can basically turn his body into metal and shit like that? Eh, no. Ah, I, I'm 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 so waiting for revelations because that's what it looks like they're going to be doing with him. Yeah, like but no, the no technomancer sort of thing. This is basically the only thing keeping him alive. Ah, uh, because I like the idea that he is both magical and scientific. Oh, I understand that, but no, here he's also magic. Okay, 
That's so kind of what what did you think about that? That was great. Interesting way of handling um, Adora. Very interesting. She's a lot darker, of course, but uh, then again, she kind of had to be. This is a fully her- realized version of what Secret of Swords set up. Yeah. Well, let's face, let's face it. The She-Ra cartoon was never the original She-Ra cartoon was never. Uh, I mean, it pushed it. It pushed it. Let's not deny. Let's call spade a spade. They pushed it with that cartoon. Not nearly to the degree that this comic oh, has. No, obviously not to this degree. But for the eighties, yeah. it's come on. Especially the stuff they showed of what the horde was capable of. It was still G-rated. But still push the envelope, you know, destroying a guy's house for speaking out against them, mm. throwing someone in the in the water to drown them. And that's, because... and that's fine to show that the bad guys are a threat. I'm talking about She-Ra oh, herself. Oh, yeah, She-Ra here, yeah. She-Ra herself in the 80s cartoon up until the, the Sword of Power movie thing, she was very milk toast. She was, you're right, you're right. But now what did you think about Shadow Weaver's twist? Love it. Yeah, I I, I I was, one, it's that one line like, have I not been a mother to you? But to making it be, she was. I love, yeah, I, I absolutely love that. Um, the thing is, a lot of my my love for the the franchise itself comes from the character designs themselves, not so much the characters themselves. But this is so, kind of matching with the character designs for you? Well, no, Shadow Weaver is very distant from what I believe her character design is. From her character design, I would think she's just pure fucking evil, no love whatsoever in her heart. But it's still a very nice subversion. Did you notice, though, much like the cartoon, her outfit just emphasizes her breasts no matter what? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, but like I was saying, um, this is Shadow Weaver in this comic is subversion done correctly. Yes! Very much so. And what do you think about Tila throughout all this? I had no issues with her. I, I loved her. I loved her smarm and sass. <laughs> and I'm glad she's back to being a redhead. Although I don't like the idea that it was basically that she just dyed her hair. She has to be a natural redhead. I know, I know. But again, that was them acknowledging a whoopsie from the other miniseries. Well, they could have done it the way I thought they were doing it. You know, like she was originally a redhead, and then she dyed it blonde. Yeah, but then, but then, why would they be so shocked when they see her made a redhead again? Because they, and they, she's been and they gone for so long. It. True. That's, but, that's what I'm oh, saying. Wait, 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 wait! I gotta go back for a second. Got on what? Because I just realized something. Okay. We, we didn't even pay attention when she was a kid. Okay. Uh, hey, she uh, was redhead. Ah. Uh-huh. So you were right. Ah. Uh-huh. Yes. It just dawned on me. It just dawned on me. I'm like, wait a second. So she was a redhead and then dyed it blonde for reasons unknown. Who gives a shit? And then reverted back to being redhead. Ha ha. We're good. Oh, you were right. Okay, then. All's right in the world. Who knows? Maybe she dyed it blonde because she wanted to distance herself further from the sorceress. Possibly. But did she know she was the sorceress's daughter when she was a little kid or what? Now you got a point there. Honestly, I think it's more of a thing like uh, maybe she just wanted to feel like she's closer to, or maybe she, you know, know what I think that, that could be good? Is closer to Adam? Not to Adam. To uh, Adora. Her memories of Adora. Oh, that her imaginary friend. Yes, she died it because of her imaginary, that would be a good. If, that would. Hey, if you ever get a chance to fucking interview these fuckers, go ahead and ask them. That. I would love to interview Rob David above all else. Ask him, like, hey, like, hey, so she was originally a redhead as a little girl. Did she dye her hair blonde because yep. of Adora? Now, question. What would you rate this one to ten overall? Nine. I would agree so. But this would be, Keith Skiffin's going to be in the DC versus Match of the Universe, but then after this, Rob Dave is going to be in control with Dan Abbott scripting his ideas. So Rob David is going to be completely in control from the here on out. And it's going to be glorious. So it, we're, we're just going up in quality now after this. Now we're going to go down for a little, for the start of DC Master of the Universe, because Rob David hadn't taken over yet, but he will part ways through it. But it's just a small little dip. Yeah, a small it's not dip. Like, it's not like having to wait through like fucking 16 issues before oh, Ryan no, Rock no, was taking no, over no. Harley Quinn. 
No, 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 no. So, yeah, we'll be doing the DC Match of the Universe next, because that is chronologically the next one. And thus, we'll see you all on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.